Alright, this is the second question for you. Here we are going to find the area of this region R, and we are given the x equation, also the y equation here, and we see that we are not using t, we're using theta. It's okay. But be careful with this though. Right here it says theta is in between of 0 and pi over 2. And right here it says we have from 0 to k, and k is equal to square root of 3 over 2 times pi. Alright, so that is the k value here. And again, we are going to find the area for the region R, but this time though, it gave us the answer right here. However though, we have alpha, beta, and also lambda. These constants are to be determined. Find the area of the region R, do the same thing that what we did earlier, starting by drawing a vertical rectangle like this. And then we know that the base is dx, and then the vertical distance is y. So the area of this rectangle is just y times dx. And then we will just have to add out all these rectangles from 0 to square root of 3 over 2 times pi by using integral. So integrating it from 0 to square root of 3 over 2 times pi. And that will give us the area for the region R. Okay, y and dx. Can we just look at the x equation and solve for theta? and then plug into the y, and do the usual way. Well, the answer is no. Have a look. x equals 3 theta times sine theta. You see that we have the theta inside of the sine function, and not the theta on the outside. No matter what you do, you cannot isolate theta. You can try it, divide both sides by 3 theta, take the inverse sine, but you still have the theta on both sides. If we didn't have the theta, then it's possible. But since this problem is right here, so no. We really have to work this out from the parametric way. To do so, well, that's why I showed you in the first video. First, look at the y, which is secant cube. So this right here becomes integral. Do not put down the numbers here, though, because we don't know what they are yet. Let's go ahead and just write y as that. So secant cube theta. And then, here we have the dx. We will have to come here and then just differentiate both sides. And this is the product of two functions, so make sure we use the product rule. dx equals, I will keep the first function, 3 theta, and then times the derivative of the second, which will be cosine theta. And then we add the second function, sine theta, times the derivative of the first, which is 3. So we have all that, and that will be d theta. Yeah, because we attach the d theta for the differential. So this right here goes here. We have 3 theta cosine theta plus 3 sine theta, and then d theta. Now, here's the hard part. Originally, we have 0, but that's in the x world. So we know x is equal to 0, up to x equals square root of 3 over 2 pi. We will also have to change them to theta. So go ahead, plugging 0 into the x right here. So we know when x is 0, we get 3 theta times sine theta. Well, if you take a look right here, theta is equal to what? 0. It works. It's, I think it's pretty straightforward and it's pretty fair to say theta is equal to 0. 3 times 0, sine 0, right, 0 is equal to 0. You might be wondering how about pi? Sine pi is equal to what? 0, yes, but pi is not on this interval, so don't use that, all right? So right here we can come here and say theta starts at 0 and that is legitimate. Do not just say from 0 to this, and also do not just use from 0 to pi over 2. That's why I told you guys earlier, this right here, right, do not just use the theta value. We really have to solve it. But we did use it because otherwise you could have said pi would be a solution to this equation. Now, put this for the x. Square root of 3 over 2 pi. And that's equal to 3 theta times sine theta. Okay, this equation, in my opinion, it's not a fair equation because as I told you, 3 theta times sine theta equals x. We don't have a way to isolate the theta here. So now we have 3 theta times sine theta equals that number. How do we solve for theta? 
Well, the way I came up with is just kind of like you recognize some special numbers. Sin theta and square root of 3 over 2. Do we recognize that? Well, this right here is the opposite side of a right triangle because that's what sine is. Opposite over hypotenuse. So we can look at this as square root of 3 right here and then hypotenuse right here. Let's say 2. Horrible triangle, sorry. Slightly better, still horrible. But anyway though, and then this side right here will be 1. So this is a what? It's a 30, 60, 90 special right triangle. And this angle is... 60 degrees and 60 degrees times that by pi radians over 180 degrees you get pi over 3 so theta equals pi over 3 matches this right here right and it's also on this interval and in fact if you put pi over 3 in here it just works wonderfully so theta equals pi over 3 so you kind of just recognize this part matches with that and hope for the best for the other. And I really wonder if there's a better solution for this. I, I doubt it. But I'll verify it real quick. If you have 3 times pi over 3 times sine of pi over 3, this and that cancel, we just get pi. And what's this? This right here is square root of 3 over 2, which is that. So this right here, I will come here and say, Theta equals pi over 3. Whew. Now we just have to you know, work this out, put that in that form, and then we'll be done. Right here, though, we see that we have 3 and 3. We can factor that all the way, and that will be the lambda. So this right here will be the 3 all the way in the front. Integral 0 to pi over 3. And then secant cube times that. I will just look at this as... 1 over cosine to the third power. This times this. 1 of the cosine cancel, so we just have theta times 1 over cosine squared theta. Yeah? And then continue. Plus, 3 is out already. And for this times that, remember we're distributing, uh, distributing it. I would like to just break this apart like the following. I will put down sine theta here over a cosine theta but we have two more powers on the bottom well that will be right here 1 over cosine squared theta right here all this with d theta okay all right so this so this right here equals 3 times the integral going from 0 to pi over 3 and then we have theta and this right here is just secant squared theta plus this right here is tangent theta. And then finally, this right here is secant squared theta. And then, of course, we have the d theta. Whew. And I don't think we have to solve it, right? Because the question is just say that show that this is true. Even though you can work it out, for the first part, you do integration by parts. And for the second part, you can just do a use up. But I will leave that to you. Hopefully, this right here helps. That's it.